Hi, I'm the spokesperson for the Democratic Party, and I'm back to tell you why you need to vote blue this November. You know us as the party of love, tolerance, and compassion, but we're much more than that. We're the party of science, and the science is clear. Men have periods, babies are clumps of cells until they're born and maybe a few minutes after. Vaccines save lives unless they're developed while Trump is president, and voting for us will end hurricanes, wildfires, and tornadoes. As our nation reels from a pandemic with at least a 98% survival rate, we need a party that understands that riots, liquor stores, and abortion clinics are immune to the virus, while churches and schools are dangerous and must be shut down. It's for your safety. Democrats stand for justice. That means we'll ruin a man's life based on no evidence because we believe all women, unless your name is Tara Reid. As fighters for justice, we have a winning message from our activist base. Abolish the police and prison systems. At the same time, we'll push to take away your guns and eliminate single family housing zones. It'll be fine. Our commitment to justice also means we'll stand by as the lives, businesses, and property of people who did nothing wrong are destroyed. That's because we believe Black Lives Matter. Trump is a racist. He just is. And even though he's explicitly condemned white supremacy multiple times, it's not enough and it never will be. Come to think of it, he hasn't been quite clear enough on his stances on cannibalism, pushing people in front of moving trains, or Ted Bundy either. It really makes you wonder. In Joe Biden, we have a champion for the BIPOC, primarily by authoring a bill that sent thousands of them to prison. And most recently, he compassionately pointed out that all black people think the same way, and that if you don't vote for him, you ain't black. He's right, of course. The only real black people are the ones who agree with us on everything. And those who don't, well, we have every right to belittle and demean them. That's what we call anti-racism. Democrats are the party of the poor, the marginalized, and people of color, as is reflected in our leadership and our party's biggest donors. Y hablamos espanol. One thing Democrats are best at is exciting our base. We do this by coming up with stories we know will make you angry and then dropping them entirely without corrections when they get old. Like accusing Kavanaugh of gang rape or Trump of stealing mailboxes. <laughs> that was fun. Trump is a scary, evil dictator. So scary that absolutely no one is afraid to criticize him, lie about him, openly wish death upon him, or call him a clown in a live debate. That's why we believe he won't concede in November. Sure, it's been four years and we still haven't accepted the results of the last election, but that's because reasons. The GOP will do anything to stay in power. Democrats are just trying to preserve our democracy by packing the courts, abolishing the electoral college, and reconfiguring the Senate. We go back and forth between believing Trump is a conniving genius or a bumbling buffoon, but one thing is clear, he is not mentally fit to be president. Our candidate is sharp, and not at all in cognitive decline. I mean, who really knows what the Declaration of Independence says anyway? And who are you to say corn pop isn't real? The choice is clear. And once again, we're confident that through censorship, manipulation, bullying, and maybe a little ballot harvesting, we'll get our way. Why? Because we care about you. So much so that we're willing to wear you down until you fear getting silenced, doxxed, fired, or ruined if you don't agree with our agenda. That's love. I'm the spokesperson for the Democratic Party. Vote for us in November.